How long has that not been going, do you think? We scrubs! I would rather they not. They're giant, terrifying insects. Ha -bruh! One dead. One dead, Get away one... from me. <laughs> give me dignity or give me freedom. Give me liberty or give me death. Cool. That's an actual quote. Ow, my... My arm literally got strapped onto the chair. Owl from Ocarina of Time. Hey, look, it's Reyes. Reyes? Yeah, it's Reyes. Why, why Reyes? Hoo hoo hoo, this is a rare sight. You are a fairy child, correct? No, no, no. Give him a British accent. That's kind of what I'm doing. What business might you have in this poison swamp? Poison. If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you hurry back to town. This swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity in it, but it was destined to fade away. Hoot hoot. And the destiny is solemnly limited to the swamp. And if you have the courage and determination to repeat it... Does, does he just say this to everyone who passes? Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear resemblance to me? skibbity doo -da, basically what he's saying is we can teleport to any of these stones at will. Hmm. Oh, first I have to talk to it. Check it. There we go. Notes are carved into the stone. Hub okay? Ah. Drop it. Bah, bah. Play the song, stupid song. Give me liberty or give me death. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wow, cringe. Wow, that actually looks pretty decent. So, uh, so as soon as we get to Woodfall Temple, I guess we'll record the Mega Man X review and then I'll let you beat this temple by yourself. Ah. Also, I don't Why is know... it Wendy from Wendy's? You learned the song of soaring. You know what I never understood? Was Sassy Wendy's meme. I never understood that. That's because the Wendy's Twitter roasts everyone. No one is safe. They do. They do. You should totally do that. Gordon Ramsay, McDonald's, they go off on everyone. Wait, wait, do that. You need to do that. What? Have Wendy sass you. Oh, I tried. It didn't work. Uh... Senpai didn't notice me. <laughs> Senpai didn't notice you. Oh yeah, these are some photos from my anime convention. I'll send them to Future Tower so you can put them on the screen. This it you can you you got yeah you guys will get to see what my look how what uncomfortable my, everyone looks being next. Oh hey, happy mask salesman, how convenient. I know, and also tell me I don't do I look like a pedophile in this picture or what? Very much so. Yes. I know I I was she like she looks so uncomfortable. I know <laughs> oh, that's, that's why I said it makes me look like a pedophile. Like look at the glaring in my eyes there. I'm like. You're like, the, you're like the Smash logo. <laughs> I know! Speaking of which, E3 is in like four weeks, and I am beyond hype for Smash 4. And unfortunately, I wish you and I could go to E3, but unfortunately... Why would we go to E3? That stuff's like $1,000 per person. Are you kidding me? And it's insanely crowded. Damn! So I think I'd rather just watch it at home. Yeah, same. Oh yeah. This girl did ah, like a... We hit each other at the same time. This girl did like a really badass cosplay of Miku. Like, look at Wow, me. I drowned myself. Look. Oh wait, no, if you want to see a good cosplay, hang on, I got it. Uh, this girl, check out her cosplay of Lucy uh -oh. from- Look at her cosplay of Lucy from Fairy Tale. Oh, that's what that is? Yeah. Zach was with her too, I just forget uh, what her name was. I thought she was from Oh, Ruby. you know Eva? This, that's her cosplay of Ruby. I did not- I knew it was Ruby. I, oh, I like that Cowboy Bebop picture. Oh yeah. He looks I, familiar, who is she? JC. Uh. Yeah. He, uh, uh, his friend actually knows you. He does? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. He's one of your, uh, outer friends, but I was like, oh, good. Also, I don't know why, but I like this picture of Knuckles. One of my what friends? Uh, I like to think of friends that we don't really talk to as our outer space friends. Outer space friends? You know In what I mean? space. Like Michael, how he's not one of our close friends, but he's a good comrade of all of us. Well, Michael, why, uh... Like we know him? No, Jerry's very involved in the show, I'd say. Hey, fam, are you depressed? Yes, all the time. Throw. <laughs> okay. Put that on. I'm happy. Are you still depressed? No. Wow. Um, also... They're the same person, you know that, right? Also, this is JC. I swear to you not. We found... We were going... I was trying to look for a wig, because I thought I could find a wig to aim up. We found a Rainbow Dash wig, and we just... Both, all three of us put it on. I was... We could not you stop. You got the stick. Like, I saw him put it on. I just could not stop laughing. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> he, like, perfected the look. Also, this convention... Ching. This convention is where I got both my sword and my shield. But unfortunately, my sword turned into nothing but ash. 
I know that now. Yeah. Rest in peace, Master Sword. Yeah. Wrist and pepperonis. But I still have the shield. Okay. Up, left, up, up, a ride, a ride. Thank you for reminding me. Up, left, up, up, a ride, a ride. A ride, a ride. A ride, a ride. Sounds like a terrible Beyonce song. <laughs> Suddenly, out of the earth appears. Beyonce! <laughs> yeah, it's Beyonce that appears out of the earth. To the left, to the left. Oh god. It's it's Beyonce. She she's finally home. The reason we're having to go inside this temple is because apparently all of the water in the entire world is now poison. Because of one damned monster. So you may be wondering, how isn't everyone dead from the poison? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it makes no sense really. Can we go up here? Well, I think it's only the swamp that's poisonous. What's funny is they let you go up here, but there's nothing up here. I think they get all their water from the ocean. Oh yeah, tell them a fun fact about ocean water. Oh yeah, I was also told to say random D&D stories. So I could talk about those while you're in here. Alright. Because, surprise, Aaron's doing this temple. What? No! It's cool, this temple's easy, you'll love it. Whoa! What you what you think is easy and what I think is easy are two completely different things. Okay, so press A. There you go. Ha pow! There, now just get to the end. You know how this works. If I'm doing this and you're playing, I believe I can fly. Yes, I'll do that. Well, well, this will be like a fun montage. <laughs> Every time. Okay, if I fail at all in this temple, I want you to put in a funny montage. Also, I'm trying to get that fairy. So what should I talk about? I'll work there. I think I'll talk about how <laughs> we had to spit on you to kill you. Are you, not gonna, are you not gonna get that chest? You don't need that fairy, so, like, no fairies are useful. Uh, I'll talk about that, that one time that you became a golem. We all spat on you until you oh, died. Oh, yeah! And then afterwards, I'll talk about that other thing that we did with Seddon. So both of these ah! are what even. Uh, you're being attacked by the stupid per the dark thing from my neighbor Totoro. Go, go, go! There, there's, a, there's a flower to the other side. <laughs> There you go. Ladder! Uh, up the ladder. Now, let's go back up the ladder. Okay, so what happened was... So we were doing the random... De yeah, I did talk about this, so instead I'll talk about the other one. Which is ah! probably funnier. Uh, here, just let me let me do this segment. Yeah. Uh, so what happened was, Aaron... Uh, Sucks at games. Yeah, pretty much. What happened to Aaron was... we. So we were playing a D&D &D campaign. Or no, I was. It was just a random thing because we were bored out of our minds that day. So I joined in on the C and D campaign and I challenged her to a D, &D no, no. fight. We we already talked about that one. Oh. So instead we're talking about the other one. Remember that one? Oh yeah. <laughs> the one you completely screwed over. Yeah. So basically we're in this completely deserted town. Uh, no one knows what the deal is. So we go. So we go around. Aaron decides, uh, I want to find a tavern. I don't know why he does this. He always does this when we play... D&D. &D. Yeah. He I always... always try to go for a tavern, because I just want to get all drunk and fight. Because that's when my drunk my drunkiness helps me to focus. It makes no sense. Either way, he <laughs> looks for a tavern. He rolls like a two. There's not a tavern. There's a library. Okay, fine. I go into the library. So, he goes into the library, and it goes up... To literally everyone and says are you the librarian are you the librarian are you the librarian so of course none of them are the librarian finally he gets mad and throws a book at a random person that person was the librarian <laughs> uh, how long is that not recording <laughs> okay just repeat the story again okay so Aaron goes into this library while he's looking for this tavern and uh, is constantly asking everyone, Hey, are you the librarian? Hey, are you the librarian? Hey, are you the librarian? None of them are the librarian. Suddenly, he gets upset <laughs> that he can't find it and throws a book at a random lady. That was the librarian. <laughs> <laughs> Who apparently was a mage. Yeah, and, like, beat the crap out of Aaron and sent him back, like, 30 feet. Also, gang -lap. <laughs> I love the sound these guys make. Uh, that's not the funny thing, though. What was funny was, he, uh, he knocked him back in a way that when he threw the book, the book came back and landed on his face <laughs> with, by my request to the DM, uh, landed with, uh, the words, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Like what you're doing right now. Yes. There was more to it. Uh, so we can't find the chick that we're looking for. So we go ahead and leave town. On the outskirts of town, <laughs> Aaron finds an old lady. I'm just gonna stroll on up to the old lady. Aaron goes up to her. Aaron, what happens? I, 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 I didn't I do don't it. really remember. So Aaron goes up to her. Long story short, he dies. <laughs> like, instantly. So, yeah, that happens also. This cutscene is so stupid. I like how he jumps in the chest. You got the key. I know it's a map. Anywho. So, Aaron does this. So, Aaron dies. <laughs> and goes to an altered reality. Uh, and they're like, hello. It's basically like the hunter's dream from Bloodborne. It's like, hello, good hunter. I'm going to let you return to the waking world. So then he wakes up, we're like, oh, cool. Aaron's not dead. Just kidding, that's not cool. And then Aaron immediately picks a fight with my character because he didn't help him while he was dying. So, of course, they get into a fight. And a guard shows up. <laughs> and you know uh, what the guard did? Yeah, so the guard arrests Aaron and immediately takes him to prison. At which point he is executed. <laughs> <laughs> so I get so I died basically twice. Yeah, so Aaron dies twice. <laughs> uh and I wanna say that was it for that campaign anyway. But there was another thing. So we go into another campaign, basically the exact same scenario, Desolate Town, whatever. Uh, and no one's able to speak. So we figure out, through process of illumination, that the entire town is being uh, mind-controlled by this guy who lives in this castle. So we head over to the castle, and it's surrounded by guards. So I, I, I do the diplomatic approach. I simply walk up to the guards and say, a fam, do you mind if we walk in? <laughs> they didn't like that very much and stuck me through with a spear immediately. <laughs> Aaron starts flipping out <laughs> and says these exact words. I run into the spears. <laughs> you what? You heard me. I, I run, run into, into the, the spears. spears. So, he runs into the spears. <laughs> That didn't end well. <laughs> so, Aaron immediately, like, all five of these guys stab him at once. <laughs> killing him instantly. Aaron still thinks. <laughs> so, I get sick of it, and I use Aaron's corpse <laughs> uh, as, uh, as, a, as a battering ram to just get straight through the guards and into the temple. <laughs> And it was at that point that Sudden just got upset and was like, yeah, you're, you're all dead. <laughs> That's literally what I said. That's basically what I said. I said, I have more funny D&D &D stories. Uh, are there any funny ones that come to mind that you want me to talk about? No. None? None. Uh, let's see. I think I could make a one. I haven't done it in a while. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I forgot it immediately. Or Bobette. Yeah, Bobette. You know, you know Bobette. Ah! Ah! Being poisoned, being poisoned, being poisoned, being poisoned, being poisoned, being poisoned. Okay, good. <laughs> bean poison? Bean poison, bean poison. Ah, I did it again. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Why I'm you keep die. on. I'm not doing it on purpose. Okay, put on the mask. Okay, I'm taking off the stupid bunny hood. Because it's not helping me. Okay, so Bobette. Bobette was a character that our DM Dylan had thought of, who was basically. Like, this ultimate, like, monk who could do, like, anything and was super awesome. That's fine and all, except... Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Link, no. It's cool, I have a fairy. Oh, hey, a fairy. More poison, more poison, more poison, more poison. Ow. Ow. Okay, so what was I saying? Bob, Bobette. Yes. Bobette would just. You need to get a torch. Yes, Bobette would just appear randomly anytime our group was in a bind. So one day, we're like getting the crap beat out of us. Whoa, that was cool. We're just getting the crap beat out of us by this monster, and uh, Dylan shows. And so Dylan 
Okay, good. Keep running. Uh, what? Okay, I can run back there. So, we're being beat by this skeleton monster. Uh, Dante fuses with it because he just goes up to it and touches it, and it literally absorbs him and practically kills him. Uh, so that happens, and we're just getting the crap beat out of us until he just appears. Uh, Bobette literally falls through the ceiling on a ballista <laughs> and just <laughs> utterly destroys Dante. I might need the other mask for this. <laughs> Done. You're saying? Uh, among, among other crazy things that he did. Did I tell that story? Yeah, I did about how I started that crusade. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? There's a bunch of cool stuff. Let's just retell them the story. Of oh yeah, the one how I burned everyone alive. <laughs> yeah. For whatever reason, I'm always a mage, and my first reaction to seeing things that I don't understand is set them on fire. <laughs> And the burning hands? Yeah, the burning hands. Ugh. So... We, we go through this thing uh, after the Bobette thing. We, we pretty much saved this kid. But afterwards, the kid goes missing. We go looking for him. We go to this church, and there's just bodies. Just everywhere. Uh, we're not sure what the deal is with that, so we kind of just go on about it. Uh, but suddenly, everyone else wanted to leave... But I just stroll up and say, because these bodies are just like stringed around on like spider webs throughout the, the cathedral. So I say, <laughs> I touch the spider webs with burning hands. Uh, that doesn't end well. Uh, all the bodies spring to life and start attacking me, and I'm blamed for killing everyone in the town. <laughs> he that's, that's just one thing I did. There's, there's more. Uh, he also started the Fifth Crusade. Yes. No, no. With, with burning hands. So, we go into this cave. This is the one where we fought the stupid skeleton man. And there's just trees everywhere. Like, that, that's the first thing that he says. He says there's trees everywhere. And it's weird because we're in a cave and, you know, that's not supposed to happen. So, okay, that's obviously very suspicious. Uh, I burn the trees with burning hands. <laughs> Suddenly, the entire room, including us, is set completely ablaze. Uh, and everyone pretty much almost dies. Oh, yeah. Have uh, I told the one about the almighty Merp? Yeah, you already told that one. That was another thing. I had to, I had to keep everyone alive while everyone was sleeping, since I was the only one keeping watch. <laughs> mm hmm? Everyone else had, like, a spell put on them where they were all dead asleep. Meanwhile, I'm having to fend off literally <laughs> an entire, like, horde of people. And humans. Yes, and monsters and such. I also, uh, was able to get a pet. Everyone else got, like, a super awesome, like, dragon or whatever. But I was only able to get a plant. They <laughs> asked me what kind of plant I want. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. You know what I asked for? Why? Hold on, I'm gonna have to go around. 